Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, here we go with this dude again, y'all. Like, I'm serious. Like, I cannot stand this man. Why is he not locked up? He should be locked up. Everything that everybody with R. Kelly and all of them, he should be right beside him. And then the thing I don't understand, why you still doing stuff? Like, you still doing stuff. Like, you would never get caught. Like, nobody would ever talk. And you still, you still just doing stuff. Like, dude, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, here he go again. Being sued. This time he being sued by a man who said that he was sexually assaulted by him, y'all. And, y'all, anybody listening to this video, is anybody really surprised? Were y'all like me just knowing that there, there definitely were men involved? But, you know what I'm saying, because of men's pride and all of that, that nobody would ever say anything. So I didn't think that I would ever, I knew that, that men had to be in there somewhere because look who we talking about. We talking about this dude right here. So, you know what I'm saying, we already know how he wrote. But I, I didn't think that any man would actually come, you know, would actually say anything, would actually sue him for sexual, for sexual assault. But a guy has actually sued him, y'all, for sexual assault. So, y'all, I'm going to read this article uh, that TMZ put up. It says, uh, did he sue for sexual assault by a former male employee? Okay, and this is the update right here. I'm just going to leave that right there, y'all, for a second in case y'all want to read it because I don't feel like I need to, you know, I'm, just, I'm reading the story. I don't need to see the update, especially after I already saw it. So y'all can just read that. But anyway, y'all, so let me scroll down. And look at him. He's so funny looking. Like, he is super funny looking, y'all. Like, it, it definitely got to be the money or something because uh, some something make them want him because he ain't. But anyway, y'all, uh, whatever. Diddy has just been sued by a man claiming a mogul sexually assaulted him. In legal docs obtained by TMZ, Rodney Jones, a former producer and videographer for the mogul, claims he was repeatedly sexually assaulted by Diddy and subjected to unwanted advances by associates of Diddy at his direction. Jones claims Diddy, among other things, would grope Jones' genital and touch his anus. But he a grown man, though. Y'all, oh, well, okay, y'all. So let me get back to the article. Jones go on to allege Diddy would parade around naked in front of Jones. Like, you a grown man. You wasn't going to say you if you couldn't tell him. Hold on, y'all, because let me get up off of this article for one second, y'all. If you, not, I'm not, I'm not blaming. Let me let that be known in the beginning. Now, this is just the question, you know, questions that I'm asking myself. But, so I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming the victim at all. But a grown man, a grown man, like you couldn't tell this man, like, dude, I don't want you walking around, you know what I'm saying? Put some clothes on, dude. I don't want you walking around naked in front of me. Like you couldn't tell him that? You were scared to tell him that? You know what I'm saying? Because as a female, females do it all the time. I know females do it all the time, and a whole lot of them are comfortable with it. I never was. I never was comfortable in front of a grown-ass female walk, walking, being naked in front of me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I would say something in a minute, either leave the room or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So you a grown man and you couldn't tell this man th th that you didn't want him walking naked in front of you? So, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of the whole lot of questions that, you know, that I kind of have. But like I said, y'all, again, I'm not blaming the victim. It's just something... You know what I'm saying? It's, it's being, you know, you a grown man. But anyway, y'all, so let me get back to the article. Jones believes Diddy was trying to groom him into having sex. He says Diddy would downplay the alleged assaults as horseplay. Jo Jones goes on to allege Diddy forced him to watch a video involving CBJ having sex with another man. Jones included a screen grab of the video. Okay, y'all, let me get up off the article again for a second, y'all. So... You okay? Jones goes on to let Diddy forced him. How you? How, how did he force you to watch a sex tape? You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it was a sex tape of women or a sex tape of men. How did he force you to watch a sex tape? You know, like y'all, just like I said, just some of the questions that that I kind of had to ask myself. Like, how does that happen? You know. But anyway, y'all. So scrolling on along, y'all. There are more allegations. He says a female cousin of Diddy's girlfriend, Young Miami, 
also sexually assaulted him, allegedly attempted to have sex with him in front of Diddy and members of his staff. And there's more. Jones says Diddy brought prostitutes to his house in Miami, and one on one occasion, Jones says he was present at the house and was drugged and possibly the R word, y'all. Okay, so, okay, these are some, uh, you know, evidence, some pictures that he, you know what I'm saying, y'all, ain't no surprise. Ain't, ain't none of this, ain't none of this shocking to me about this dude. All right, y'all, so back to the article. He also alleges at several parties, Diddy initially, initial, initially served women bottles of his tequila and vodka brands laced with drugs. There are more tartly allegations, including bringing underage girls to Diddy's home and providing them with alcohol. Jones claims Diddy directed Stevie J and his son, Justin Combs, to recruit prostitutes. And in Justin's case, he was instructed to find underage girls to attend parties. So that's what Misa was going off with him about. Misa's, uh, uh, Justin's mom, Misa Hilton, I think back in, it was back in June or somewhere like that. She was posting up all of these subliminals. Something had just happened with uh with Justin. I think he was he was arrested for DUI. And uh, Misa snapped. You know what I'm saying? She went off and I'm I'm a, I'm gonna talk about that, y'all. You know, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute because you know what I'm saying? That was back in June. And now you got this man name coming up. You got your son name coming up in a lawsuit that people talking about sexual assaults and underage girls and you know what I'm saying? You got your son coming up in a lawsuit like that? So I know Misa's snapping. I know she's snapping right now. Okay, y'all, so let me get back to the article, y'all. Okay, so all right, and y'all see uh, Kiba Jr. Yeah. So I know he playing a bit, yeah. Okay, Jones claims Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr. on Diddy's yacht, and Cuba allegedly began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones' leg, his upper inner thighs, near his groin, the small of his back, near his buttocks, and his shoulders. You let it go. There are also allegations of a shooting where Jones says Diddy and his son Justin got into a heated argument at an L.A. recording studio. Jones says gunfire erupted and a man named G was hit and bleeding profusely from his stomach. Jones says Diddy told him to lie to cops and say G was shot in the drive-by. And it's worth noting, LAPD investigated the shooting and reportedly found the victim had been shot outside the studio during a robbery and merely ran into the studio while still bleeding. In addition to Diddy, Jones is suing Justin, other employees as well as various record execs and according to the docs, he's seeking at least $30 million in damages. We reached out to Diddy's reps as well as reps for Cuba and Steven, Stevie J. So far, no word back. Y'all, this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. This is so crazy, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I told, uh, well, I'm about to say I told y'all. I ain't told y'all nothing, but you know what I'm saying? A few people, I, I told myself pretty much that it that it there were definitely guys involved y'all we even know some famous ones i'm not gonna say any names right now but we even know some famous ones that we didn't hear rumors about back in the day and you know what i'm saying they ain't saying nothing so you know what i'm saying y'all I, I just didn't think that a guy would would come out and sue this man i knew you know what i'm saying definitely definitely not shocked by it like for real y'all this is crazy y'all this is this is crazy like this man is still running around doing the stuff that he been doing and when i made that russell simmons video and i think i also said it in the in the first video i made about sean combs that they keep y'all like y'all been doing stuff for decades y'all been doing all this dirt for decades and you know what I'm saying? You still doing it. You you got away with it. You did, but you still doing it. Even in this day and time, you still doing it like you would never get caught. Just like with R. Kelly's situation. And I, I always use R. Kelly's situation as a prime example because R. Kelly actually did get caught. One time, you know what I'm saying? He did get caught. 
But somehow he got off. He never went to jail for it and all this. The next thing you know, R. Kelly's still doing his music and all this, that, and the other, y'all. So it was still, and, and he was still doing the same thing. So, like, my point with that was that if you were, if you're doing something that you know you don't have any business doing, you get caught for it, but you get off, don't anything happen, that's not going to make you stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to thank God that you didn't just get caught and it's not going to make you stop doing that. But you still, you so, you so big headed and you, you still doing, you still continue to do it because you just think that you will never get caught. So y'all, and, and you know what I'm saying? He like one of them because I ain't, I didn't, I mean, I ain't know if he was still doing stuff or not. If y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all right now, just in case y'all did not see the other video that I made of him. I cannot stand this dude. So I don't really be knowing too much of what he had going on in his life. Like y'all, I can't stand him. I never liked him from the nineties. Like a lot of y'all not. I never liked him from the nineties. Like he, he made bad boy, but he didn't make bad boy. People didn't care about him. It was the artist. It was Biggie and Mary and Mace and Total and 112. And you know what I'm saying? It was all that. Nobody cared about Puffy. People got sick of seeing him dancing in videos. That's why everybody was rhyming with Suge Knight when Suge Knight said that. You know what I'm saying? When Suge Knight said something about Puffy dancing all in the videos, everybody, I don't care if you were from the East Coast or the West Coast, everybody was feeling Suge with that because he was always in the videos dancing. Like, dude, bye. This is not your video. This is not your song. Get out. We don't want to keep seeing you. So, y'all, in, in all them years and all of that of him doing dirt and, and, and not being caught for it, y'all, I'm just, like, I'm sick of him, y'all. Like, I'm really sick of him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why is he not going to jail? So, anyway, then the seed, like I said, y'all, he got his son, Justin, tied into it. And that's why... If y'all remember back in June, Justin's mom, Misa, went off on him. Uh, Justin got arrested. I think he had a DUI, and he got arrested for that DUI. And Misa snapped, you know what I'm saying? Because she was saying, she was talking about Sean Combs and this bad boy, this bad boy image that he has going on and how he's not looking out for their son. So, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, y'all, like when I think about this, I think about the stuff that he, he, do you know, what does he have Kim Porter's kids into? Because her kids don't have their mother here to protect them. Christian still has his mom here to protect him. So, so she's seeing shit and she can jump in and stop shit. You see what I'm saying? So the, 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 the twins and, and, and the other son, uh, Kim Porter's kids, they don't have their mom to jump in. So you know what I'm saying? Then the other daughter, the one chance, her mother seemed like a go along, get along. So I ain't expecting for her to say anything. You see what I'm saying? As long as this man keep on paying her. But Misa making her own money. Misa don't need him. She got he, she don't need his money. She got her own money. So she don't care nothing about none of that. If she see what he doing with her son, how he turning, you know what I'm saying? How he got their son out here, how he got their son out here acting. So now, like I said, when she put that, all that stuff out there, when she snapped, that was back in June. And now you got him, you got his name in a lawsuit talking about sexual assault. You know what I'm saying? You got him, you got your son tied into that. Y'all, I pulled up the situation that happened in June with uh, me. So I'm not going to read the article. But I am going to read uh, her um, her post that she had posted out there when Christian got locked up. And, okay, like one of the posts she's saying, everyone has to sit around for years and act like there's nothing, there isn't anything wrong with you. That's where the buck stops for me. So, and um, you know, like I said, when she put those out there, y'all, it's before I knew what was going on with Christian. And like I said, um. You know, y'all, I, I don't really be into these people too much like talking about. So 
as I always say, I see and don't see and I hear and I don't hear. And that's why I don't be remembering a whole lot about what they have going on. So, you know what I'm saying, y'all? But yeah, it's another post. So she said, I'm not protecting no one anymore, just my son. So that post right there, she didn't even have to put any of the other posts out. Just it, th just this post right here, we already know who she's talking about. Because who, who else she need to protect outside of her kids? You see what I'm saying? Y'all, this man, y'all, why is he not locked up? That's what I'm talking about. Why is he not locked up? I cannot think of um I cannot think of the son. Hold on. What's what's the son? Christian is the son by hold up. Hold on, y'all. I just got stupid real quick. And I need to let y'all know too. Before I you know what I'm saying? I'm a little buzzed right now. So uh y'all. I might be forgetting uh what I might have said a second ago and all that type of stuff like that, or jumping from one thing to the next and all of that. So I'm just letting y'all know that. So because you're going to hear all that going on in this video. And then I got to get myself right also whenever I do a video on him. Because I need to, I, I can't, y'all, like, I really can't stand this dude. So, you know what I'm saying? I have to tolerate him long enough to talk about him or to care about what's going on. So, okay, y'all. So that's what I was getting, the, the, the son's name. So Misa's son is Justin. So Christian is uh, Kim Porter's son. So you know what I'm saying with with Christian and and the the twins, like y'all, they don't have nobody to watch over them, y'all. They don't have anybody to watch over them now. Right now, no Christian's name is not in a lawsuit, but Justin's name, Justin's name is, which means that you have your kids out there doing stuff. It was just Justin that was seen by the person that, that put the, you know what I'm saying? They got the lawsuit. It ain't no tell. He might not have been there the night you had Christian there. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Like, y'all, it's just crazy. So, okay, y'all. So let's go back over to the article on TMZ because when they mentioned Cuba Gooden Jr., and I don't be, I, I wasn't surprised at all to see his name in, in anything either because he has... He, he, you know, y'all, he has a record out too. I heard of things of him from years ago uh, uh, where he had sexual assault allegations, I think like in 2022 and maybe like a few years before that. But it's not like the first time I heard anything involving his name and sexual allegations. But it is the first time. Now, all of the stuff that I, I've heard, all of the sexual allegation claims I, I've heard about him were from women. So this is the first sexual allegation claim that I heard about him coming from a man, y'all. But once again, I am not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. And y'all, it's this picture right here that, you know what I'm saying? The way that he's Cuba Gooden Jr. And I, I'll show my screen for this right here. But the way Cuba Gooden Jr. is looking at him on this picture. Now, it could be it could be one of two things, y'all. Either it is what it is, and he really looking, you know what I'm saying? The picture, the picture showing exactly what 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 uh Mr. Jones said says is going on, or either he got his eyes closed because they vibe into whatever they got going on in the headset, y'all. But I'm thinking me. I'm thinking the first thing. I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, he looking at him like that because this is one of the pictures, from my understanding, this is one of the pictures that Mr. Jones, who was the victim that he presented with his uh, lawsuit, he presented a, a few pictures in there and um, presented with his lawsuit. So, you know what I'm saying? This picture right here is like, it's, 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 it, it truly is. It, it really is evidence. He knew what was going on when that picture was taken. So that's why that picture was presented, y'all. Because I don't think this dude lying, y'all. I really don't think he's lying. I'm just kind of, uh, it's just kind of surprising coming from a grown man. But you know what I'm saying? He's speaking his truth. So you know what I'm saying? If that's what happened to him, that's what happened to him. And I hope that he does get justice, you know, get every dime, get whatever of justice that he deserves from having to be, having to deal with this man. But, y'all, back to Cuba Gooden Jr. So, 
just like I said, this picture looks every bit of, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, the picture is cringe. Just put it like that. It, it's, it's cringy. It's cringy. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Because now, you know what I'm saying, y'all? It's cringy. Like, even look with his hand. You know what I'm saying, y'all? It's, it's just cringy. So, yeah, he, he, he presented the right evidence is, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure he presented more than that. But that picture right there, that's, that's you know, because that's just crazy, y'all. So, but that's how they run, y'all, in those Hollywood circles. Like, y'all, that's, that's just how they run. That's crazy. So, y'all, okay, so now let me get to Stevie J because just like they were saying, he said that uh, Stevie, I mean, Mr. Jones said that uh, Diddy showed him a, a sex tape he said showed him a gay sex tape of Stevie J and Stevie J came out and said that that's not him on a sex tape so the the adult the guy who's actually in the sex tape he did come out and say that that was him in the sex tape that was not Stevie J but my point is y'all Jones it proved the fact that he saw this sex tape. It proved that a sex tape really did exist. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a, a debate about who's in a sex tape. Stevie J said it's not him. And the guy in the actual se sex tape said that it's him. So, you know what I'm saying, y'all? That's just evidence that, uh, that, you know, Mr. Jones is telling the truth about a sex tape being shown to him. And that's evidence right there that a sex tape was shown but him saying that the sex tape him y'all I just y'all I'm kind of stuck on that right now but let, let me just get off of that and not uh let, let me just keep on going on so like I said y'all it is evidence that a sex tape that he he really did see a sex tape so you know what I'm saying we know that that part right there is not a lie because uh, but, you know, did you just watch the set? You know what I'm saying? We know that the tape did exist. So, like I said, y'all, it's just too many people just tied into this thing. So, he also tied in Young Miami because he said, he, he mentioned her in the lawsuit as well because he said that Young Miami, uh, a cousin, her cousin sexually assaulted him. So, uh, he said that uh, Young Miami's cousin sexually assaulted him and attempted to have sex with him in front of Sean Combs and, and you know, and his staff. So, you know what I'm saying, y'all? She taught, y'all, I'm telling y'all, okay, so let me talk about her, y'all. Because I said earlier, I, I kind of didn't say much about her in the first video that I made about him because she really ain't had, you know, nothing to do with what he had going on. But she is mentioned in this lawsuit, y'all. So, like I said, I, I tried to keep it as she was young. But I really wanted to say she young and stupid because anybody, like, ain't nobody told you about this man? Like, nobody told you about this man. And even, y'all, if nobody if nobody told her about this man before she got with him and started letting him piss on her, she still was messing around. She still was dealing with him after the Cassie situation. So, you know what I'm saying? As fast as he paid Cassie from those allegations, like, he didn't try to deny anything. He settled that, like, expeditiously. And you still stayed with him? You know what I'm saying? Like, that didn't make him look guilty in your eyes? And I, I, I said that. I told somebody. I said, you know what? I said, she not staying with him. She not with him by choice. She with him by force. And I felt like that when he had that baby on her, when he was messing with that, messing with that Asian girl, and he had that baby on her with the Asian girl. Like, I, you know, everybody looking at her like, girl, you looking stupid. He didn't just had a baby on you and all of that. So, y'all, I'm like, I'm saying, is it really that serious about, about money? Because I assume she got her own money. You got enough money to take care of you and your kids. You know what I'm saying? Probably taking care of her parents and all of that. And I assume that she was doing that before she started messing with him. So, you know what I'm saying? Is it just, you know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like she probably got with him in the beginning by choice. But I kind of feel like y'all, especially after he had that baby on her, I kind of felt like anytime I saw her with him or anytime she said anything about him, it, it was forced. 
it was, you know what I'm saying? It was forced. It's the only other way that I can look at it because she always seemed airheady to me. Like, I'm serious, y'all. She always seemed like an airhead. And she seemed even more like an air, airhead to me when she came out and, and told the world that you let this man piss on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you think that was a flex? Girl, it's like, y'all, I swear, y'all, ever since she said that, it's 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 almost like when I see this girl, I, it's almost like I smell piss. You know what I'm saying? Like, Miss Pissy, like, you let this man, you letting this man, y'all, I'm telling y'all, my life, I, I've never been, I ain't never been nowhere near rich. And I don't even care. I got enough money to take care of myself. I'm living, you know, like I, like I, like I want to live and I'm doing what I want to do and I'm taking care of myself and I'm taking care of what needs to be taken care of. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm good with that. I can do things when I want to do them. So, you know what I'm saying? For me to let somebody piss on me because they got a few dollars, girl, oh my, y'all, it ain't happening, y'all. It's not happening. So just like I said, she told the world that like, like it was a flex and it wasn't. You just look even more stupid to people. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody was looking at you dumb anyway. Like, why are you even with this dude? So everybody was really looking at you stupid then when you talking about you letting a man piss on you and you know what I'm saying? The man that had a baby on you and all that type of stuff, y'all. And then he get sexual allegations and all type of claims against him that he don't even try to fight. He kind of like settle it overnight and you still with him? You still cool with that? So y'all, like I said, y'all, at this point, she being forced, y'all. I, I just kind of feel like nobody would ever have that much control over me to think that they can do whatever they wanted to do to me. What? Never. Like in a lifetime, I can never see that. To ever let a human being on this earth have that much control over me to just do whatever it is that they want to do. Y'all, I just can't see it happening, y'all. I just can't. I don't care. Millionaire, billionaire, I don't care, y'all. I'll stay within my tax bracket and all that, taking care of myself. I don't care about that, y'all. And she letting this man piss on her? And you know what he doing because he doing it to her? Like, like can't nobody tell me that he not doing the same thing that he was doing to Cassie? All of these, all of these allegations about him uh, you know coming out against him are about the same thing sexual abuse and the r word and you know what i'm saying all of them are the same thing so you mean to tell me that he's not doing the same thing to her y'all so like i said y'all she need to blink a couple of times and let somebody know that she needs some help because I, I, like i said at this point she being forced she's being forced at this point and i think that's why our home girl What's the one, the other half of uh, the City Girls, JT? Because I noticed that they don't swing too tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, don't, I don't see them together too much, like, talking about. Like, are they still a group or what? And I really don't know. Like, this is a genuine question because I never let, I can't tell you not one City Girl song. I can't even, if you play the song right now to me and ask me who it was and it was the city girls i wouldn't even know because i never even heard them i never even wasted my time i like real music i never even wasted my time with all that so y'all anywho so you know what i'm saying like they don't even swing too tough anymore and and i i, I always see them apart and it's just kind of like they doing their own thing and i think that people were starting to notice that back a few months ago because i was seeing on social media where people were saying that that you know asking were they were they still cool with each other? Were they still friends? And I think that they posted a picture or either did something together to, you know, show the social media or whoever that that yeah, you know, everything's still cool behind everything's still cool between us. But at the same time, after that, you don't even really you don't even really see them too much, like talking about anymore. So I'm kind of thinking that that the other girl, uh, what's her name, JT. I'm kind of thinking that she dipped because she ain't want no dealings with this man. 
Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I- I'm really starting to think that because this man got uh, young Miami. He got her into all type of ish. I'm telling y'all, he got her into all type of stuff. And the one JT wasn't having it. And I think that that's, that's kind of the riff in their friendship. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just crazy. Like, who in their right mind would want to deal with this man? Who in their right mind? And then it's all of these allegations out there against you, and not just those allegations, but the, the Kim Porter allegations. The Kim Porter allegations, the Jamie Foxx allegations, I'll be sure, uh, who Andre Harrell, Heavy D, all those type of allegations too. You know what I'm saying? All these allegations against this man, and you still with him? So, y'all, just like I said, she just need to blink a couple of times and let somebody know that she needs some help because she being forced to be with this man. But anywho, y'all, so back to this dude, y'all. So, I, I, like I said, I believe the allegations that this dude is saying, you know what I'm saying, the stuff that he said that this man did to him because at this point, I don't even know y'all. I, like, I hear a lot of people saying that they think that it, it's about money. But I don't know if a grown man admitting to being sexually abused by another grown man would be about money. But then again, I also said that, you know what I'm saying? I knew that men would, uh, I, I knew that men were also involved you know, as well as being sexually assaulted as women. But I didn't think that a man would come out and actually say anything and definitely, definitely not point fingers, but I definitely thought a man would not come out and say anything because of a man's pride. You know what I'm saying? Because just like I also said, there are a few men that we've heard rumors about, a few of the famous men that we've heard rumor rumors about that's tied to Sean Diddy Combs, and they ain't going to come out and say nothing. They still smiling and in the studio making records and floating across stage and you know what I'm saying and doing all that right now and all of this stuff all of this stuff you know y'all so I I really don't believe that this man is um I really don't believe that that he is you know that that he's just out for a dollar I really don't believe that and I don't think that he would if he hadn't seen things. You know what I'm saying? That he he couldn't uh, have other people involved in the lawsuit because he also involved Puffy. I think uh, where did I see that at, y'all? Because he involved uh, in, in in the lawsuit uh, Puffy's the, his chief of staff, um, like we said, his son, uh, Universal Music Group CEO, you know, Motown Records CEO, and Combs Enterprise. And a lot of other people, y'all. So I don't think that this man would really risk, because at this point, that's what he's doing. He's risking his life. So I don't think this man would really risk his life and, uh, you know, risk his safety and the safety of his family for $30 million, y'all. I really, I really don't think that. I really, I just don't think that. So I genuinely want to know because it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? You a grown man. You couldn't tell this other grown man. you, You couldn't tell him no. Like it's what, which what Cat Williams said, you would have to tell him no. So you know what I'm saying. I guess some of these people couldn't tell him no, y'all. I don't know y'all, but I'm about to end this video, y'all. I just had to come out and get my two cent on what this dude still have going on. So like I said, I, I hope that Mr. Rodney Jones. I hope that he is compensated. He, I, I hope that he does. Um, because like I said, I, I just kind of you know not even kind of i just believe him like i just believe him i don't believe that he's out for money y'all saw in his instagram post how you know he the man is scared y'all so i don't think uh, none of that none of that and like i said none none of my my safety and my family's safety would not be worth no 30 million dollars and then you know what this man is capable of and then all of these names that you drop like you just dropped all of these names so, you know what I'm saying, y'all? For $30 million, I don't think this man lying, y'all. I really do not think that he is lying. So, you know, we'll see. But I really hope that he get he gets the, the money. If it's, you know, the $30 million, I really hope that he get it, y'all. Because, like I said, I, I don't think that this dude. I just don't think that he's lying. So, I might be wrong. But look who we talking about, y'all. Sean Combs. So, you know what I'm saying? I doubt very seriously that I'm wrong in this case. 
Give that man his $30 million. Y'all, with that being said, thank y'all for watching my video, and I'm out.